I was keeping an eye on the clock, so it was just a case, I knew the directors had a flight up there at midday, so it was a case of if I can make that all go up. But I, I was also conscious of the fact that I'd, ne I'd never want to let anyone down. Um, and I was only going to do it if I felt okay. Yeah, I literally hadn't slept one bit, so I, I'd had a, a bit, bit of breakfast, I guess, if you can call it that. I had some porridge oats in a protein shake, um, and that was me, ready to get on the plane, um, and got there, and the Delia and Michael and Stefan and, and Michael Folger as well, they were great, um, the directors were superb, and uh, yeah, it was, I think they were quite surprised to see me on the plane. You know, my son's just been born, everything's great, he's healthy. Um, my wife's healthy, so there was no doubt in my mind I wanted to come up and play. It was just a case of getting there and seeing how I felt once I got there, because adrenaline up to that point had, had got me through. It was almost like, I can't believe I'm, I'm doing this, you know, you just, I, was, I just wanted the game to start, really, because I didn't feel too good in the warm-up. Um, and Nick, the sports scientist, the head of sports science, was taking all that. I think he noted that, so he was on my case a little bit, but just felt a bit lightheaded and uh, um, just was desperate for the game to start and something to tune into and concentrate. Because obviously up till then it was all a bit frantic, a bit hectic. I was late to the ground, just desperate to get the game started at that point and, um, yeah, just to get going, really, and hoping that I'd make it through and not let anyone down. Russell Martin leading his uh, Norwich side into a venue of legends and this is what all the hard work was all about for them last year what seemed improbable when Alec Neal took over became reality Oh, Danny Ings could have a real opportunity here, which he takes superbly. Big five, ten minutes or so now for Norwich. Can't afford to lose another one. Minilay through traffic, helped on by Martin, and in! Russell Martin has stunned Anfield! He has plenty of reasons to celebrate. To, to go up and play was enough, and then to score, you know, it was, I was aware straight away of how big that was for, for, uh, for me and, to, and for my family as well. Great story for us, for us all. Awesome feeling. I've done about four celebrations in one, I think, a terrible celebration. It's just all emotion was coming out, and my uncle and stuff was in the crowd, so I knew where he was sitting. So it was, it was yeah, the feeling I can't really describe, you know, it's complete euphoria for a couple of seconds, and well, a bit longer than that even. Um, then I had to get my breath back and relax a little bit and get back in position and make sure that we, uh, as a team, held on to, to, to a good point. Glance of the watch from Anthony Taylor. He's seen enough. Another afternoon of frustration and disappointment for Brendan Rodgers. But Alex Neal's Norwich have produced another very effective and impressive away performance. Norwich's goal machine of late, Russell Martin, struck for the third time in some style to equalise for Norwich City.